Gail and Gabe guess they weren't invited, so that's the uh, greenhouse party. <laughs> they weren't invited. And she's all like, guess we weren't invited. <laughs> Yeah, I try and keep the tags next to the plants just so I remember. But this is why I can never remember. It's like Raphaelipus indica? I don't know. <laughs> but this is an evergreen, which is really surprising because it doesn't look like it. This grew like crazy this year. I think it's a cop or something. I forget. <laughs> and the fountain we built this year. One of the personal projects that I did was 100 Days of People and Plants. It's just kind of a way to force yourself kind of to either do something every day consistently under the same theme or same media. And I wanted to do almost 100 different um, kinds of plants. I would do a little bit of research for each day about what that plant does. So it was just like interesting learning about each of the plants. So some of them were just like a little bit more about life rather than the plant. So Cora and Cal are the life of the corner. Mostly just like, if I was at a party and there was a plant that I really liked, I would be like over there admiring the plant. Well, drawing plants is, definitely has a different feeling than drawing letters, but in a lot of ways it's very similar. It's a great uh, exercise for sure because Plants are so abstract in nature. Even me, who's someone who does mostly lettering, a lot, it's, I didn't have to change the way I drew it all. Um, I'm drawing with the same materials and you could almost see it's like from the same hand, just by the way I add detail or add texture or something, it's all really similar. When I'm watering my plants, watering the tomatoes is always great because as soon as the water, especially if it's a little sunny outside, when the water hits the tomato plants, you get all this like gr this great tomatoey fragrance, and um, that was something that really was straight from my 100 day project. Lari and Lacey are almost ready for dinner where she's picking the tomato and she has her caprese salad all ready to go, just needs the tomatoes. I think it was great to have the response of people being inspired by plants and wanting to become better plant owners themselves and learning about plants that way and also just seeing my work uh, in kind of a different way. 